Good morning everyone. Another beautiful but very windy day. And a dog. We have a new machine on the farm. I should have filmed this yesterday getting this, but oh yeah, I was too busy trying to load it. John Deere 2040S. It's a real tidy little tractor. It's got a genuine 1600 hours on it. Yes, that's right, 1600. That's like 40 year old roughly. It's a beautiful little tractor. So we've got we've got many machines in this shed now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start everything up. Let it all warm up while I'm checking this lot, the other side of these bales. We'll get everything out and then we'll make a start on the day. Isn't that right, Jade? Chopper Teagle. Now, I've only just started using that. We better get this thing. Shouldn't look very happy sat in that cab. Put you down for a minute. Coming in. Come on in. Where you going? Have a guess in the comments of how old this one is. I bet you'll never guess. But yeah, there's... What I'll do is I'll show you in the other shed of what we were doing before and what we're doing now. Now, you may notice that this tractor is, uh... It's missing something. Yeah. That was my fault. Oh, look, I don't want to get in. Now, put you down. Yeah, there's a story with this door glass of what happened. Back up there, back up there. There, sit. Sit. You get out, stay. Yeah, there's a story with that door glass and uh, it involves me and a, um, and a straw spreader bale. kind of had an accident with a spreader bale. When it sat round in the other shed, a uh, stone went through it. Which is always handy. Not. So I've got Agua Glaze coming out today to put a new window in it. And we're now feeding with this rather than the Widerman. cobs are getting quite fat and we don't want the cobs getting any fatter because they've already took one away because it got something I can't remember if I remember what it is I'll put it in the comments but yeah one of them got ill from eating too much so now we're all putting them on a reduced diet so now I'm feeding them twice a day with the tea oil a lot better than what I was doing. Because before, we had 10 rings in these sheds and we were doing, we well, now on hay rather than haylage, because they were on haylage, but that's too rich for them. So they're now on hay. So now we're doing, well, one bale used to do five rings of hay, or five, yeah, one hay bale used to five rings so there's ten rings in there so you think there used to be two, two bales of hay per side but now stay there 
how it used in the Teagle. I used it for the first time yesterday and um, I done two and a half pens of horses with one bale of hay. So yesterday, because I done two feeds, I done two three bales of hay in total, or not even three bales. Because this is what's left of the third bale. So yeah, that works out a lot better. Dirt dog. Right, get over. Get over. Get over. No, not that way, because there's no door glass. Here. Jade, here. Get up. Just gotta go for some diesel in this. used to feed we used to have 10 rings dotted around this shed well now we've got 12 rings in it in a ro long row because it's easier with this teagle to do it like that I'm gonna put you there don't know how much you can see out of the windows I need to clean the windows put you like that all right drop this down a bit back her up 
start her up. Oh yeah, this PTO switch is dodgy. Someone's fed. All happy again. What we'll do is we'll go back. Still got the dog with me. She's happy. Oh, there's feed line and stuff behind me. Sorry if I made you feel sick there. Yeah, happy. Yeah, this lot. All having their breakfast. 
I would be if I wasn't driving through here. I mean, look at the size of them. They are some big fat cobs. But luckily now, or hopefully now, we're feeding them like this. They're going to start losing some weight, hopefully. That's the plan. I'll show you how much is left of the bale when we get to the gate. This was a brand new bale when I put it in here. The only thing I don't like about this is it isn't trailed, it's a three point linkage mounted. So you got a bit of a swing on when you got a full bale on the back. Nothing I can't get around. Dog stay. 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 So yeah, this is a full bale when I started in this shed. About half it left, which will do because we'll now go to the next shed. So, yeah, I'll let myself out, lock this one, shut this shed up so they can't get out, and then we'll go to the next shed. Alright, so that's all the haying done. Now we just need to get on the old TM. Get our start. Take the pallet times off, put the spreader bale on. Oh, we're now spreading in here. Put you there because I haven't I haven't really had my old mounts. We'll get this one done, then we need to do the whole of this shed, so that will probably be a time lapse, possibly. And then we need to go play with the hedge cutter really, get that set up properly because yesterday it wasn't on the tractor and we had other implements to put on the lorry first and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare but I got it done, I got it done so today I want to set the hedge cutter up on the tractor properly and grease it all and check it all over and make sure it's good to work we might, if we get time get to go do a little bit of hedge cutting with it, I'm going to try and find somewhere out of the way but that's not really what to do the driveway hedge first with it because uh, I've never used that hedge cutter I want to leave a nice neat job so yeah I'll find a hedge somewhere to play with it and then uh, if I get the hang of it then I'll probably do the driveway hedge that would look nice and neat again. This bit is a bit tight where I put these rings. But yeah, yesterday was... Well, I didn't get all my straw and up done yesterday. I got both feeds done yesterday, but... I was in Shed 5 straw and away when the boss man came over and right, we've got to go and get his tractor and hedge cutter and trailer and all that ready to be loaded up on the lorry and uh, yeah I should have said GoPro there because that was, that was an interesting job that was a very interesting job so I had to pull the tractor pull the um, Arctic lorry out with the tractor bearing in mind the tractor's only two wheel drive so that, that's sitting there on the road power by bouncing and so yeah that was interesting but I've got the lorry out and we also got it all loaded and brought back, so that's good. So yeah, I'll join up with you a lot later. Right, that's drawn up. Watch this for a stampede. So yeah, quite happy.
weren't as much of a stampede as I thought it was going to be. Quite calm. Yeah. Very impressed with that. Right. Break time now. Alright, we're just in shed five. Now theme knees. I think the dog likes the Widerman. So where she always lays when we're on the Widerman. Come on, move. Move, because I need to sit down. She don't move much, look. Bless her. Alright. show you something here because you're probably all wondering why we don't just put the straw through the teagle it's because of these these two were just lying on the edge of this bale when you come around this side look look that's not going to do the teagle any good whatsoever Plus, it's going to make sparks, which could cause a fire. I mean, this straw was horrible for it. I don't think the baling man was baling straw. Look, 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 look. This would have came out of a bale. 100%. This would have come out of a bale. Look. Here's another bit. So this is why we use the spread about it because there's just so many stones in it I keep saying I don't think he was baling straw I think he was de-stoning his field but because the amount of stones in this straw is unreal it's absolutely unreal there are so many stones in these straws just trying to see if I can see any more. There will be. Of course, with the amount of stones what we've had out of these bales so far, we've got probably sold about 20 tonne of it. Yeah, I can't see any more on the top of my hand, but yeah, that's what done the window on the tractor. There's a stone in the spread of bale. I just thought I'd show you that. Cause that's a, a lot of stones. A lot of stones. Yeah, I'll get this. Oh look, look, look. Right here, look. Look at the size of that one. I mean, really. That wouldn't do the teagle any good whatsoever. I mean, you'd have to be sharpening the blades every day, wouldn't you? 
literally every day just so you could do the hay. It's just a game now we're home. Yeah, there's a lot of stones in this straw, which is why we don't use the teagle when we're straw. Because it just throws stones and stuff everywhere. It's just not good.